This program was made possible by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you. Welcome to the WCTE High School Academic Bowl. I'm your moderator, Brian O'Connor, a math professor at Tennessee Tech University. Our match today features teams from Clark Range High School and Oliver Springs High School. Let's meet our teams. First, Clark Range High School is located in Clark Range, Tennessee. The enrollment is 290, mascot is the Buffalo, and the principal is Judy Jones. Let's meet our team members. I'm Erin, and I'm a sophomore, and I like to make costumes. I'm Emily, I'm a sophomore, and I'm in the pet band. I'm Olivia, I'm a sophomore, and I play bass guitar. I'm Caitlin, I'm a sophomore, and I play the alto saxophone. That's Clark Range. Our other team is from Oliver Springs High School. Oliver Springs High School is in Oliver Springs, Tennessee. The school enrollment is 340, the mascot of the Bobcats, and the principal is Justin Nivens. Let's meet our team members. I'm Bray, I'm a sophomore, and I play football. I'm Connor, I'm a senior, and I'm in the OSHS marching band. I'm Joseph, and I'm a sophomore, and I play soccer. I'm Jacob, I'm a sophomore, I like fishing. That's Oliver Springs. Let's meet our officials for today's match. First, our scorekeeper is Marge Rios, retired Spanish teacher who taught 21 years at Livingston Academy. She was the academic bowl coach there. Our judges, first Dr. Paula Hinton is Associate Professor of History at Tennessee Tech University. And next, Dr. Vani Gadam, who's the Academic Advisor at the College of Education at Tennessee Tech. Our timekeeper is Dr. Hannah Raweiser, Director of Education and Community Engagement at WCTE. Those are the good folks here, so let's begin our match. Teams, are you ready? Here's your first toss-up question. In every direction that we look with a radio telescope, we find cosmic background radiation whose thermal equilibrium temperature is somewhat less than three degrees Kelvin. What cosmological theory concerning the formation of our universe does this support? Hint, it's also the name of a popular TV series. Uh, Oliver Springs, Jacob. The Big Bang Theory. Big Bang Theory, that is correct. 10 points on that toss up. Here comes your bonus question. For five points each, or 20 for all three, answer these questions about initials. First, what do the initials H.W. stand for in the name of President George H.W. Bush? Henry Washington? No, Herbert Walker, George Herbert Walker Bush. Second, what does the initial W stand for in the name of President George W. Bush? Walker. Walker is correct. And finally, what do the initials HG stand for in the name of English novelist HG Wells? Harrison Garrett. No, Herbert George. So five points on that bonus question. Here's your next toss-up question. Which continent is Antarctica's nearest neighbor? Um, Elder Springs Jacob. South America. South America is correct. Ten points there. Here's your bonus question. For five points each or 20 for all three, answer these questions about the planets. First, which planet's orbit is most nearly circular? Mercury. No, it's Venus. Next, what was the first planet to be discovered on the basis of theoretical calculations? Neptune. Neptune is correct. And finally, which what planet has the great red spot? Jupiter. Jupiter is right. Ten points on that bonus question. Here comes another toss-up. Name the capital of the state of Louisiana. 
Uh, Clark Range Olivia. Baton Rouge. Baton Rouge is correct. 10 points on that. Here is your bonus question. For 10 points each, identify these types of teeth. First, the back or grinding teeth. Molars. Molars is right. And second, the front or cutting teeth. Canines. No, incisors. 10 points on that bonus question. Here comes another toss up. How many significant digits are in the measurement 9,751 meters? Time. Time, it's four significant digits. Next toss up question. In the famous formula E equals MC squared, what does the C stand for? Um, Brady. The speed of light. The speed of light, 10 points there, correct. Here is your bonus question. Simplify this expression. 100 to the 3 halves power minus 100 to the 1 half power. Fast. Answer? I defer to Jacob. 100 squared? No, it's 990. 1,000 minus 10. No points on that bonus. Here's another toss-up question. What is the function of the proper noun Tommy Garcia in the following sentence? My cousin, Tommy Garcia, bought a new sports car. Time. Time. It's in a positive. Next toss-up question. Where are Julius Caesar, Ocean of Storms, Sea of Crises, Sea of Serenity, and Sea of Tranquility? Where are they? In time? Uh, Connor? Italy? No, can you take it, uh, Clark Range? Greece? No, they're on the moon. Seems tranquility. No points there. Here's your next toss up question. What is the term for a narrow strip of land having water on each side and connecting two larger bodies of water? Um, Connor? The strait? No, can you take it, uh, Clark Range? Time, isthmus. Careful conferring on the toss up. Next toss up. Do not go gentle into that good night was a poem written by whom? Time. That was Dylan Thomas. Next toss up. What is the term for flat, hazy, featureless clouds of low altitude varying in color from dark gray to nearly white? <coughs> Olivia. Fog? No, can you take it, uh, Oliver Springs? Jacob. Nimbus. No, it's Stratus. Next toss up question. An angle that measures between 90 and 180 degrees is called what? Brady. Obtuse. Obtuse is correct, 10 points there. And here is your bonus question. For five points each, what cooking term is defined in each of the following? First, a small portable charcoal grill used in oriental cooking. Dutch oven? No, a hibachi. Next, the generic term for all macaroni products. Pasta. Pasta is right. Third, a seasoned liquid often containing vinegar and oil in which food is soaked to improve flavor. Vinaigrette? No, marinade. And finally, Japanese dish of meat, vegetables, and seasonings usually cooked at the table. Stir fry? No, it's sukiyaki. Five points on that bonus question. Here's your next toss-up question. In 1965, he invented the synthesizer, which greatly increased options open to composers of electronic music. What is his name? Time, that was Robert Moog, the Moog synthesizer. Next toss up. In the scarlet letter, what is the name of Hester Prynne's daughter? Uh, Connor. Pearl. Pearl is correct. 10 points there. Here's your bonus question. 
This British intelligence character has been portrayed in movies by a number of actors, including Sean Connery, Roger Moore, and Daniel Craig. For 10 points each, name the character and the author who created him. James Bond, and the author is J.T. Hicks. Now, James Bond is correct. Ian Fleming is the author, so 10 points on that bonus question. Next toss-up. The Eternal City is a nickname for what European city? Jacob. Rome. Rome is correct. 10 points. That's the end of our first half, and the score is Oliver Springs 90 and Clark Range 20. Come on back for our lightning round. Welcome back to the WCT High School Academic Bowl. Our match today is Clark Range 20 and Oliver Springs 90. We're gonna have our lightning round now. So the categories are the letter N and the letter O. And Clark Range, you get to choose which would you like? The letter O. The letter O. All right, all answers will begin with the letter O. And you'll have 60 seconds. Are you ready? City where the Nobel Peace Prize is awarded. Oslo. English school where Rhodes Scholars study. Oxford. Drama set to music. Opera. First female Supreme Court Justice. Pass. Unit for resistance in an electric current. Oscillator. 2,000 mile trail beginning in Independence, Missouri. Pass. Hard, dark, glass-like volcanic rock. Pass. Winner of three gold medals at the 1936 Olympics. Pass. You have three correct, Oslo, Oxford, and Oxford. The, the ones you missed were the first Supreme Court Justice is O'Connor. Wish you'd gotten that one. <laughs> the unit for resistance in electric current is an ohm. The trail in Independence, Missouri is the Oregon Trail. Hard, dark, glass-like volcanic rock is obsidian. The gold medal winner was Jesse Owens. And the other two were Opossum and Ophelia. So 30 points on that bonus, on the lightning round gives you 50. And now we come to Oliver Springs with the category, the letter N. All answers will begin with the letter N. Are right, you ready? Painkillers such as morphine and codeine. Pass. Ancient Egyptian queen, wife of Akhenaten. Pass. Early 90s grunge band or Buddhist state of perfection? Nirvana. Site of the second atomic bomb blast in Japan? Nagasaki. The Cornhusker State? Nebraska. Nobel Prize winner in 1994, he had a beautiful mind? Pass. Discover of calculus and basic laws of motion? Newton. Small country in the Himalayas? Nepal. People who move from place to place in search of food. Nomad. Company that provides streaming video on demand. Netflix. Painkillers such as morphine and codeine. Narcotics. Ancient Egyptian queen, wife of Akhenaten. Neftist. Uh, you have eight correct, gives you 80 points and brings you up to 170. The ones you missed were the ancient Egyptian queen is Nefertiti and the Nobel Prize winner, the, be the beautiful mind referred to the movie about him, it was Nash. So 80 points in that lightning round and it brings you up to 170. Our score is now Oliver Springs 170 and Clark Range 50.
We have a substitution to tell you about for Oliver Springs, Madison has replaced Joseph. We're going to start our second half now, teams. Are you ready? Here comes your first toss-up. The chemical reaction of acid plus base yields water plus salt describes what type of reaction? Time. Time, that's neutralization. Next toss-up. The U.S. National Park Service is a branch of which cabinet department? Uh, Jacob. Department of Forestry. No, can you take it, Clark Range? Yeah. That's the Department of the Interior. Next toss-up question. Evaluate x squared minus y cubed if x equals 8 and y equals 4. They said nothing and the answer is zero. Can we count that? I guess not. So no points on that toss-up. Here comes your next toss-up. This organ system works with the nervous system in sharing the responsibility for the data processing activities of the body and maintaining homeostasis. Name it. That's the endocrine system. Next toss-up. The Missouri Compromise was repealed by what act? Uh, Connor. Kansas-Nebraska Act. The Kansas-Nebraska Act, that is correct. Ten points there. Here's your bonus. Listen to the following sentence. John usually studies math each day. Good boy. John usually studies math each day. For five points each, first, what is the subject of the sentence? John. Correct. Second, what is the direct object? Math. Math is correct. Third, what is the adverb? Usually. Usually. And finally, what type of sentence is it? Simple sentence. It's a declarative sentence. So 15 points on that bonus question. Next toss up. What was the nationality of composer Franz Liszt? Aaron. German. No, can you take it, Oliver Springs? Jacob. French. No, he was Hungarian. Next toss up question. Name the southernmost state in the United States. Uh, Jacob. Florida. No, can you take it, uh, Clark Range? Texas. No, you got to buzz in, and it was Hawaii anyway. So no points there, and careful on the conferring. Toss-up question, what language serves as an official language in more countries than any other language? Aaron. English, English is right. Ten points there. Here's your bonus question. For five points each, name the authors of these American short stories. First, The Gift of the Magi. No answer. That was O. Henry. Second, The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. Answer. Washington Irving. Third, Bartleby the Scrivener. No answer. And finally, that, that was Herman Melville. And finally, the celebrated jumping frog of Calaveras County. No answer. That was Mark Twain. I was in Calaveras County in October. I didn't see it. Here's your next toss-up question. Who wrote the song, Beautiful Dreamer? It was one of the top songs of 1864. That was Stephen Foster. Next toss-up. What type of joint is the wrist? It's a pivot joint. Next toss-up. In Germany, they call this noun ecke. In France, en coigneur, and in Spain, la esquina. What is it in English? Corner. That's corner. Next toss up. In Greek mythology, who killed the man eating Minotaur? 
Connor. Theseus. Theseus is right. Ten points there. Here is your bonus question. For ten points, how many steps were there in the title of Alfred Hitchcock's 1935 thriller, The Blank Steps? Twelve. No, thirty-nine. And also, for ten points, what was the date in the title of Stanley Kubrick's 1960 film masterpiece, Blank, A Space Odyssey? Two thousand one. Two thousand one. And you might have been alive then. Correct. Ten points on that bonus question. Here comes another toss-up. Formaldehyde is a popular preservative for biological specimens. Spell formaldehyde. F-O-R-M-A-L-D-E-H-Y-D-E. -E. No points there. Next toss-up. What metal is primarily responsible for transporting oxygen in your blood? Uh, Jacob. Iron. Iron is right. Ten points there. Here's your bonus question. Change the base 8 number, 434, into an equivalent base 10 value. Four hundred thirty. Two hundred eighty-four. Uh, four sixty-four is three eighths, and four added on gives you two eighty-four. So no points on that bonus. Here's another toss-up. Identify the full moon occurring about the time of the autumn equinox. Olivia. Harvest moon. Harvest moon. That is right. Ten points there. Here's your bonus question. For five points each, or 20 for all three, tell what name is given to a hurricane in the following parts of the world. First, over the Western Pacific Ocean. No Answer? No Typhoon. Second, over the Indian Ocean. Monsoon? No, it's a cyclone. And third, in Australia. Monsoon? No, it's willy-nilly. <laughs> Maybe if we did that, that'd be, they'd be less destructive. So no points on that bonus question. Here comes another toss-up. All the mountains in the United States above the 14,500-foot altitude are located in what state? Uh, Jacob. Alaska. Alaska is right. Ten points there. Here's your bonus question. For ten points, what amendment to the U.S. Constitution by number gave eight... I stop there. That's the end of our match. Oliver Springs 235 and Clark Rain 70. Thank you teams for a good match. We appreciate it. This program was made possible by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you.